people welcome to Nika Soul Kitchen so today guys we're in the kitchen here today bringing to you another video so guys we will be, we will be making today some sweet bread some of us call it coconut sweet coconut bread some of us call it sweet bread some of us call it um, so many names but I will be making you some sweet bread here today I'll be making two version plain raisin and one with mixed fruits okay and some of us if we don't know what mixed fruits are this is mixed fruits it's a variety of different um dry fruits together that um we use to do various things especially like around christmas time we make our black cake we even soak this for a period of months or year this is what we use we in we include sorry to in our ingredients to um making the black cake okay guys so we're gonna dive right into this video right now guys so i'm going to introduce you the ingredients i will be using here today so let's begin i have a cup of cream i have one third of uh, margarine i has one teaspoon baking powder four gram yeast i has mixed cake seasoning and mix all spice seasoning for cake and pastries. I has three quart nutmeg, grated nutmeg. I have three types of essence. I have coconut essence, mixed essence, and an anise seed essence. I has one medium beaten egg. We have salt because we know what is sweet. There's always salt. I has five gram white granulated sugar. I has my mixed fruit. I got my raisins and coconut, most important. I have two and a half cook, cup of grated coconut here, okay? So guys, we're gonna put it together now and we're gonna begin this process here. So I'm gonna empty my coconut into my bowl. Guys, when, if you do this manually with your hands, guys, it's best if you, before you start to bake, put your, um, your pastry together, it's good if you can take out the um, little pieces of the ends of coconut that leave back that you can grit with your hand. Why I said so is because it's, it can leave little chunks between, okay? And that little chunk, sometimes when you're eating and you're really enjoying that sweet bread and you're going into it, accidentally, sometimes that big piece is just getting the way in your mouth, wrong timing, okay? And it can be a little uncomfortable. So it's not a big deal. It is coconut bread, so we may find coconut, but just the excess big pieces, guys, it would be nice if you can, like, take it out before, okay? Just, just to say. Yes. So I'm just applying all my um ingredients here, as I mentioned to you guys. My raisins. So I put like all the wet ingredients so far with the raisins, etc., etc., and I just save back the wet ingredients for uh sorry the dry ingredients to add with the flour okay so this would close off all the wet ingredients so far and my cream okay guys so we're gonna mix this now okay we're gonna give this a nice little mixture now mm, just smell all the essence the Oh, all that going on. I'm just draining the bowl out. It's, don't mind me. Oh, and the nutmeg, it makes it, oh, it just bursts in with flavor and all that excitement going on right now with this. So guys, yes, we're just going to be mixing this for like about, just to incorporate it, the sugar and the cream and like all that good stuff we put in here. We're just mixing it a little bit, okay? That's all we're doing. Just a little bit. At this moment, it's optional. You don't have to do it. 
but you could add a cork full or two of browning if you wish that way your sweet bread will get a little darker color okay instead of just more white or you could have used brown sugar instead of granulated sugar okay so i just mix in this a little like this just keep mixing it until everything has come to a nice beautiful mixture okay so guys we're going to start adding our dry ingredients now which is our flour okay so this is my five cups of flour i have here i'm just going to put it in you put half first you just incorporate it like this if you want you may keep a glass of water i sorry i didn't mention that to you at hand so you could add to loosen it up or you could have add some more cream if you wish okay yes guys so we just mix in until everything incorporates okay so take your time you don't want to go too fast and blow the flour in your face or on your skin okay so keep mixing this is um thoroughly mixed guys okay so this is the only the raisin one so let me tell you something instead perhaps you're making two type of sweet bread okay what you could do right now as this sweet bread is already mixed this is just a raisin one you could apply it in your pan to bake and whatever you leave it whatever remaining or how much of the fruit one you wish to make then you add your fruit last okay so get your pans ready at this moment now and put out the raisin sweet bread and then leave back how much you want to add your fruits into to make the other batch of sweet bread okay guys so i'm gonna put mine in my baking pan now and put it into the oven for about an hour or until cook and nicely brown cook inside and nicely brown outside we're gonna see the difference so we know this is just raisin sweet bread whatever regular one so we're gonna jump into this one this exciting one here okay what are you doing? I'm moving it over so I could get in. Okay. No. She already pinched it off, so. Chicken. We cut. We're gonna cut in to see what's going on, Zanika. It is still warm. And it's, Why are you cutting? Because we just want to see inside. Gato. We just want to see how it's pretty. Gato. Gato. So it's pretty. Pretty. Colorful. Wonderful. Okay, guys. So let's bring it to the end of our lovely video. I hope you guys had fun putting this together like i did so guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and let me know what <clears throat> menu or what delight you like to see my twist on comment down below and let me know